My name is Greg Kretzinger. I was the drone data director for the public safety UAV teams called in to map the town of Paradise in California after the tragic campfire. This work was done on the request of Butte County under the mutual aid system, and all data requests can go to Butte County. The point of this video is to provide some technical answers of how this drone data was done. And then you can follow up with me at greg at Scholar Farms or www.scholarfarms.com if you have further technical questions and I will handle them. Let me tell you a little bit about how this mapping layers, how these mapping layers occurred. So we had mapped and defined zones of paradise based on the structure damage map by CAL FIRE that was provided to the public. With that, we defined zones that were heavily hit by the fire for drone flights. We use low cost drones by a company called DJI. It's one of the dominant companies in the industry. These are actually consumer grade drones that run about $1,500, but have very high resolution cameras, about a 20 megapixel camera uh, on, on it. So you can get very high imagery, even though it's a low cost drone. From there, we brought in many teams from across about a half dozen agencies. And I don't speak for those agencies. You can reach out directly to them. Those teams then, we had two day, full days of mapping and then some cleanup mapping flights that also occurred. We had teams with 15 one day and 16 another day. During that time, we had over 500 flights and we collected over 70,000 photos. This equals 466 gigs of photos. And we mapped over 17,000 acres during those two days. This incredible amount of data then became a large problem of how do you process those data? We were supported by several companies in the data layers. For the 2D mapping, we ran hard drives down to a company in San Francisco called Drone Deploy. They're an engine or processing for turning photos into maps and they worked incredibly hard and very long hours to turn what would usually take weeks over in about 24 hours. So they also helped take the chunks of maps as they batch them and merge them all together into a single map layer. Again, this is an incredible unprecedented effort and it's part of one of the largest drone public agency UAS uh, responses of all time on the earth in response to disasters. We also did point surveys using a company called Hangar. We're using 360 panoramas, and those are just nice to complement the mapping data in that you can drag around and zoom in and they're very interactive, and people are used to interacting with some of those kind of data layers. And so we did that at over 200 locations across the town of Paradise. We were also able to do geo-reference video, and video is actually a very rapid way to collect a large amount of data but typically it's not associated with maps. So we drape the flight lines of the drones and sync them with the video so that you can quickly see all of the major roads of the town of Paradise. And we were able to divide up into three drone teams and fly all of the major roads in under an hour. And then we could overnight place those roads on map. We defined actually a new way to map disasters during this time. And that was supported by a company called Survey, S-U-R-V-A-E. So altogether, it really took the public partner and private partnerships to get the job done and get it done so quickly. We were able to turn around data from about four to five days of data capture and processing and get that to the SAR teams as well as Butte County for use for utilities, insurance, and for eventual release to the public. We hope that these data uh, really help in facilitating in the recovery and the cleanup of this disaster. And our hearts go out uh, to those of you who have lost your homes and are affected by this tra tragic event. Again, my name is Greg Kretzinger. You can reach me at greg at scholarfarms.com. For all data requests, please talk to Butte County. Thank you very much.